Hello from Sweden and welcome to this reading. It is finally happening and we're gonna figure out together what is finally happening for you. And to do this, I have pre-prepared three different piles. The one that you feel the most drawn to will be your reading today. We will also take one additional card together to help you really find your reading. So let's go for it. It is finally happening. Number three. <laughs> okay, pile one, shark. Pile two, fox. And pile three, bear. Okay, that is the options. If you need more time, you can pause the video. Otherwise, you can just scroll down to the commentary section where you will find the timestamps that will take you to your pile and your reading today. And I will see you guys in your separate readings. Hello pile one and welcome to your reading. You felt drawn to the shark. We also have the water element here. So let's start with putting your shark over here. And we're also gonna put your tarot cards to the side and we're gonna start with your oracle card. So it is finally happening. Let's figure out what it is together here. Wow, you have the healer. I really like this card, you know, because we have a snake that has three heads. We're going to see how that is hmm, fitting into your reading. Because I was actually thinking, you know, the shark, it feels like the shark has a pretty clear direction, you know. It is very, like, focused, you know. If It's like, it's, it sees what it wants and it gets it with like kind of no mercy and no fear. It just grabs it, you know? And I think, I think you're finding, hmm, it's like many, maybe you had many, I just hear like many paths becomes one. Many roads are finally becoming one. That is what, what I hear. And it could be, that you are closing certain doors now and and I think you're gonna be moving like really really like I, I just feel like you know fast movement forward you know a shark is a pretty skilled swimmer a very skilled swimmer and they have like I don't think they have any natural kind of enemies in in the ocean I, I don't think anything can kill a shark a human can but like natural en enemies kind of in their uh, environment so that makes me feel like I think you're finally moving on with your life in a way where you have like a super clear direction you're you are moving quickly forward and there's like there's like you're just I just think you're gonna be in like a such a good flow and with the three snake heads here it feels like you come from like having to put a lot of pieces of the puzzle together like many like it has been many things going on with you on many levels you know maybe emotionally physically work wise with your if you have kids or family like many things that you needed to deal with and it feels like your energy has been kind of a bit scattered between responsibilities or like things that you had to deal with and I feel like what's happening now, like I heard like so clearly, like many roads become one. And it's like, it's like a big highway. Yeah, it's like you're gonna be on a big highway forward. 
uh, we're gonna see where you're going, but it feels like you're going in the right direction. Yeah, you're not lost anymore, you're not scattered anymore, you're not dragging along things from the past anymore or things that are like half done. It feels like you're done or closing like even like many doors like I would say like not just one door it feels like several doors so yeah hmm let's look here look at the rest of your oracle cards and heart and love wow that's beautiful we have a number eight here you know eight stands for abundance yeah look <laughs> I was thinking like where are you going and then I just saw here because the shark has one direction it's going here so it goes towards love yeah, you're on the highway. Uh, you're on the highway of love. That sounds like a song lyric or a song, song. Yeah, song subtitle, su title, song title. <laughs> so yeah, you're on the highway of love, towards love. And uh, hmm, let's see here. Forgiveness. Okay, I think you're moving on. I think this is definitely about moving on. Moving on in a very like. Uh, big way like really like not moving on saying I'm gonna move on but like really moving on like it feels like something is happening with your whole like maybe your whole energy and uh, everything is kind of shifting or has shifted hmm you also have charity so we have the fourth house we have Saturn in Cancer hmm and fourth house, fourth house, yeah, for, the fourth house is about the past, actually. And Saturn also, you know, shows that it has, you've been dealing with some karma. You're moving away from karma. And forgiveness, the forgiveness card here really shows how you come to peace with things. You, I want to applaud you, pile number one. You're doing like a big, there's a, like, it's really like a big thing that you're doing out. You're moving on, like in the biggest way <laughs> like in the biggest way you're moving on hmm let's just see here could even be that you're finding forgiveness for your past it's like you maybe you're coming to peace with the past in some way and placing it somewhere in your heart where you are fine with whatever happened in the past and and you're moving on and the forgiveness like he's stretching out towards the moon it makes me feel like i think you're entering like a new cycle of your life where you're just on a more loving abundant and successful path forward and with the heart here you know it looks like you know one of these balloons that you get when you are on a uh, what is it called in English? Like an amusement park, <laughs> doesn't it? You know, so this makes me feel like, you know, the inner child and joy. So I think you're quickly, and you're going to move fast. That's the whole thing. You're moving like really, really fast, you know? And uh, like, if you go to the amusement park, you're like the abundance energy here. Like, it's like, <laughs> you're in a very, very positive energy. So it feels like, wherever you go love will follow and maybe it was before wherever you went uh there was difficulties that followed because there have been something maybe in your energy or kind of in your own healing they kept kind of attracting maybe difficult situations uh, and it feels like like it's something with the healer here it really feels like I think that you have really healed something from kind of the depth of yourself. So it feels like you're freeing yourself. You are freeing yourself from any past, uh, I don't, past <laughs> disappointments maybe, uh, any past confusion any past and it's like you know the three three snake heads here also makes me feel like like loose ends like you're you're there's no loose ends anymore like all the loose ends are gone <laughs> and all the half closed doors are closed it's like you're cleaning out you're you're cleaning and closing out everything that has to do with the past and and quickly moving forward on that highway of love 
and I think like with forgiveness here, I think you're going, it's like your, your energy is shifting. Forgiveness and charity, you know, that is pretty like very, and the heart, yeah, you know what? I think your heart is opening up like a lot, like, like really like a lot. And it feels like you are ready, like really, 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 really to move on with your life in kind of a new way like it feels like a new way it feels like you're moving on with your life in a way you haven't done before and i don't know what happened with you but the healer makes me think that something happened here <laughs> something happened with you here that kind of pushed you into moving on so that is what the whole thing is going what the whole thing is going on here is it's about moving on from the past and from any loose ends, from any half closed doors, and with the shark here, it feels like you're you're. If there is any decisions left for you to do, you're gonna do them. Yeah, you know, with a lot of courage, and you know, uh, yeah, it's like when you made the decision or when you're making a decision, you're gonna stick with it and follow it through. And it feels like you're very made. It feels like you're very like kind of you made up your mind and you know where you're going and it's like it's like you're a shark i mean who can stop you you're like the super super skilled swimmer of the ocean you know with no enemies <laughs> so you're you're like moving on here you are moving on but not just that it's like i really like this because it's not just like this there is like something you know you're moving on with this courage with the shark and direction you know you know where you're going you're finally moving you're finally moving like moving and growing like a lot like i think you're growing like crazy actually uh, yeah i think you're really really like growing a lot but the thing that is growing inside of you is kind of you know your heart it's like you are it's like your heart is opening up your your energy is becoming more pure you are becoming more happy you there is peace coming to your mind there is kind of peace coming to your emotions it's like yeah you are uh you're developing in kind of a very hmm i, I wanted to say kind of mature way or spiritual way and i think it's just good i just feel like it's good because i can't and i feel like you know the healer here kind of shows me the past and then the shark comes and then you just move on to the heart and forgiveness and charity you know all this nice you know forgiveness is a very nice uh, when we reach that stage where we feel kind of some kind of genuine forgiveness can be for ourselves or, or the past or whatever it is that means we have come to peace so i think you're coming to peace really with the past and this kind of frees you yeah i feel like you're fr you're freeing you're freeing yourself in, in like a very big way and this does something with you it's like you're expanding yeah yeah you're becoming the king of the ocean ocean you know and the ocean is so it's so big you know it's like whoo. so like it feels like you're expanding you everything is expanding in your life and you're like you're on the big highway you know uh so yeah i think you i think great thing is happening with you pile number one so let's look at your or um, tarot cards and you have 10 of wands yeah look at that 10 of wands it's the end of that burden and i love that it ended up here underneath the healer because i said that is the past so the 10 10 the tense shows a completion. So you have completed a cycle in your life where, like I said, I think you had to deal with a lot of stuff and it has come to an end. So yeah, the completion of that cycle and moving on very quickly now moving on. It's like you've been preparing yourself when you were kind of, when you were in, I wanted to say suffering. Yeah, for some of you, maybe it was really suffering, but you have also prepared so many things for yourself. Look at her. She is like carrying all those uh, th things that she needed to deal with here. But her legs got strong, you know, because she had to carry this. So now she has strong legs. So now she can run really fast. <laughs> you know, when those roses are not on her back anymore, her legs are strong, you know, so she can run really fast. So that feels like saying that makes me think like, yes, maybe you went through or I think you went through like a whole cycle, you know, maybe even a karmic cycle with the Saturn here. And you, you had to deal with a lot of stuff. It made you stronger. 
that's what I wanted to say. It made you stronger. And now when the burden is off your shoulders, you can use that strength or I see that you're going to use that strength to move forward uh, in your life uh, in a very, very, very positive way. And you have Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> yeah, Queen of Pentacles, you know. <sighs> Queen of Pentacles is manifesting the life that she wants. I mean, she has no problem manifesting her life exactly the way she wants. So I think this highway of love, I think it's like you are manifesting your dream life. And I, like I said, it feels like you have a clear direction. I don't think you're lost in any way. You know what you want, pile number one. I think you know exactly what you want. And maybe you know exactly what you want from love or a partner or, you know, you, anything. I mean, all the areas of your life, it feels like you know what you want. So you're kind of going to be, I think you're going to be manifesting really, really quickly. Yeah, very, very quickly manifesting now. Look at that five of cups. You left the sadness behind. We have eight of ones. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> let's take the last card as well. And the hero fence. Hmm. You know, the hero fence is kind of the masculine energy of the high priestess. So that makes me feel like in the masculine energy is all about kind of also movement. That makes me think like, because I feel like you're becoming kind of very like spiritual in your energy, even if you don't see yourself as spiritual, but you're becoming very heart connected. You know, it's like forgiveness comes from the heart, compassion, your calm, inner peace, everything, all those things are kind of like spiritual, being in some kind of a, a spiritual awakening, just being, being, uh, in a good energy, <laughs> just being in a good energy. So that's what I feel here with the Hierophant. But the Five of Cups here really shows with the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is the most fast, one of the most fast moving cards in the deck. So it really shows here. And the Five of Cups is about loss and disappointments. So it really feels like you're moving away now. Whatever, whatever was disappointing you, whatever was making you sad, it feels, really feels like you're closing that door. Like you're closing that chapter, you're closing that door like completely. And you're doing it, you know, with, I love that we have the forgiveness here and with some sense of inner peace. You know, in the end, there's not even something to forgive. So it could even be with a hierophant here that some of you really come to that point that you realize, yeah, there's not even something to forgive because somehow all people kind of act from their, the, um, the level of consciousness, you know, so, so when people are be, when people behave like uh, assholes, <laughs> there is a, there is a reason why they do it because yeah, they can't do better, you know, uh, and it takes a lot to get there, you know, because the pain and the anger, you know, sometimes people really hurt us and there is no logical reason why, you know, it's just so wrong, but you know, if we really, really work with ourselves, we can reach that point when we can kind of even feel compassion towards people that are, <laughs> I wanted to say assholes again. I think some of you have really been hurt by somebody that you have a hard time forgiving, very hard time forgiving. I feel like even me just saying this, it's like, you're, you're like, no. <laughs> yeah, I know. I can, I can, I can love everybody, but not that person. <clears throat> I had a couple of those. I think it's, it's kind of gone now. But anyways, so... <clears throat> You're, you're closing the door to something that has been hurting you and moving on, moving on. I think you're going to, it feels like you're creating a wonderful life for yourself. We have kind of, you know, the fourth house with cancer here. It feels like you're, you're emotionally becoming whole and it feels like you're, maybe you want to buy a new home or something like that, but you're creating a new home for you. You are kind of reconnecting deeper kind of could be with family members or important people in your life or your or your soul tribe but it feels like you're kind of uh, you're also growing kind of your social life and your and it's it's, it's like uh, the community it's like you're finding you're really moving towards love i mean i mean you come from a place of like i think like challenges and disappointments and and uh, a lot of things to deal with and you are moving like quickly, powerfully moving forward to 
a, a new life, a new life. We're, we're kind of like you are like with the Queen of Pentacles. You are manifesting everything that you want into reality. It's like one thing after another. You're like new home. Yes, check. Soul tribe. Yes, check. <laughs> you know, oh, I wanted to have this amount of money in my bank account. Oh, yes, check. Oh, yeah, I wanted to do this and I wanted to create something and, and uh, reach uh, success with it or publish it or something. You're like, yeah, check. So it's like you're checking off a lot of things. So it's like it's a new phase for you. It is finally happening. Yeah, a new phase of your life is finally happening where you're really 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 leaving the past behind and the last thing that we have to let go of i wanted to cry it was so strange <laughs> i wasn't prepared because i i don't feel any emotions but uh yeah that was kind of hinting me that would happen so anyways but yeah the last things i think happened before we cut the cord with the thing that hurt us in the past i think it, it could be forgiveness and opening the heart here so you're definitely forgiving somebody and with the charity here maybe they don't deserve it you know like i said because i wanted to keep on saying assholes so it could be that you're forgiving somebody that doesn't deserve it but you know what that is what is freeing you so you are freeing yourself and by doing that you are quickly moving into highway of love where your energy and your reality is just shifting so powerfully that you are creating and manifesting everything that you've been trying for for so long that wasn't kind of couldn't maybe couldn't manifest fully because you were still carrying this pain from the past you were still you were trying to go you know how are you going to move forward with this whoops <laughs> okay there's an auto focus yeah so how are you going to carry um, let's see if i can fix it yeah you couldn't even see you know <laughs> with the with the foggy picture here a blurry picture you couldn't even see but how are you going to move forward with this it's like heavy you know you know, it's heavy. So it's like you've been trying kind of to move forward, but it was something weighing you down. And I think for some of you, you have done like a, one hell of a job with yourself, with a healer here. You have done one hell of a job. And I, this is what's happening now. It's like, wow, the big results that comes from that last, or that comes from this, job that you did with yourself, this work that you did with yourself, this transformation that you went through. You know, we have the snakes here. It's all about transformation, shedding skin and going deep into kind of the shadows and the pains. So, I mean, and, and uh, yeah, so it's been, it's been a lot here. And uh, like I said, I think the last thing here is some kind of thing with your heart, forgiveness and really moving on in freeing yourself and moving, moving into love moving into love freeing yourself from this also allows allows love to come in your heart out of your heart and all over your life yeah <laughs> all over your life mm. okay pile one that was your reading if you like my readings please subscribe to my channel hit the like button if you feel like sharing your story please feel free to do so in the commentary section either way pile one i wish you all the best and i hope to see you next time goodbye Hello, pal two. Welcome to your reading. You felt drawn to the fox. We also have the earth element here. Let's put your fox over there. And we're going to also put your tarot cards here and start with some more oracle cards. And you have the sustainer. Hmm. <laughs> With the fox here, you know, the fox is very like intelligent and uh, hmm, like strategic. Yeah, strategic with the sustainer makes me think that you have been holding something alive, holding something alive. Hmm, and I think it could it be maybe that that thing that you've been holding alive, maybe that thing is gonna bring you success, success now infinity unlimited potential wow look at that <laughs> hmm and you have inner peace with a koi fish here okay let's see fox in inner peace hmm yeah with the inner peace and the sustainer you know it feels like you've been protecting something you've been You've been, uh, look how like it's kind of looks like it's in, kind of in a box, you know, really like, yeah, this is, and holding it with your dear hands here. Yeah, this is mine. This is like, a, I don't know if it's a dream 
or if it's a vision, but you have very like uh, intelligent, very wise. Yeah, with a fox here, you've been using your wisdom in some way to. <laughs> Could even be when everything else was going wrong in your life, this one thing you were protecting, like very strongly protecting this. Hmm. And we have appreciation. So the moon, yeah, the moon here, the moon in Leo in the fifth house, and you know the moon. It really makes me think kind of maybe you were even keeping this a secret not telling people and uh, you know what i'm getting here you know what are you i don't know what maybe you were trying to you it makes me think this could be like a creative project you know something yeah i think this is a creative project or a project or something or a dream or a vision that you have and you have like Oh, you, I think you love this thing. <laughs> Whatever this thing is, you have put a lot of effort into this. You have been protecting it. You could be that you've been keeping it a secret. It's been hard kind of with the Leo energy here because you know Leo energy, yeah, the fifth house actually is all about uh, creativity. So, and actually children also, it feels like your little baby here, you know, your little, yeah, your little baby, you, you birthed something. So what is it? It's kind of your, it's a project, I think, or something you're burning for, like a hobby or a passion or something like that. And what is happening? It is finally happening. I think it's kind of like, it's not going to be a secret anymore because you're putting it out there into the world, I think and or if this doesn't resonate i think what's gonna happen here is that you're gonna get uh brilliant you know with the fox here the fox has a mind you know it has such a mind so it feels like you're getting one good idea of something that you wanted to create or maybe you've been wanting to create something the dream is to with the sustain here you like you've been wanting to write a book for so long or create an oracle deck or it could be anything of course you've been wanting to do something you have a dream you've been wanting to do it so long but you never got your kind of you never got into that right energy of doing it and with the fox here you know the fox is pretty you know energetic animal yeah it's a very energetic awake you know it's a very like the mind is sharp you know and awake so the, the fox has no problem with solving any problems you know, it's a problem solver. So it could be that you have had a dream uh, or an idea, but you kind of couldn't get, you couldn't get your mind to work with you and like kind of get all the things together. So this dream could become reality. So it could be, so you could be like you haven't even started or it could be that you have already created the project and now you're going to put it out there. But what I feel like is finally happening with the infinity here, it feels like you're finally completing this. You're finally completing your dream. Whatever this is, you're finally completing it. And look here, she's even playing on a... I have no idea, is that a banjo? No, I don't know the name. Or a sitar? No, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't even know the name in English. So yeah. Uh, and then here we have this, the name I also don't remember in uh, English. Wait, I have it on my tongue, tip of my tongue. Hmm... Uh, no I don't forget about it. so yeah this shows abundance anyways <laughs> so abundance you're getting so there is the creative project that is becoming not just birthed but also you're completing it it's gonna be like an end product that you're you have it finished it's kind of finished and you're, you're putting it out there taking it out of the shadows out of the secret or something sharing it with the world with the leo energy you know really sharing it's like here it is <laughs> look what i created something like that and i think with the appreciation here i think it's gonna go really really good you know what i don't see any i don't see any 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 problems you know the inner peace with the water there is no there's nothing stopping the flow of water you know if you pour water over anything it kind of moves it can move water moves through anything you know it just it just goes yeah it, it, nothing can stop water you know so it feels and with the fishes here it feels like there is nothing that will stop your success so i think you're going to be very 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 successful with this you know unlimited potential and it could even be that you're starting kind of with a book if it's a book 
and then you have to write the book to the book or something, you know, or, you know, you, I don't know. It's like, it feels like this one thing leads to like a lot of other things. So yeah. Or if like, if you're starting kind of a social media channel and, and I don't know what, it can be whatever, you know, whatever it is, it's like you're reaching success with the one thing that you, you're started with, but that one thing opens up many, many other, many, many, many other possibilities. And I think it's like that one thing makes you kind of expand like a lot. And I just see you kind of in the end, you don't even remember the first thing that you did. It was like kind of the, hmm. I keep getting writing a book, so maybe somebody's writing a book. You know, you wrote your first book and it became so popular and then it became a whole series of kind of the same type of book, you know? It's like became book five or six or seven, you know? So it feels like this is gonna take you on one big journey. One big journey is this gonna take you. And the sustainer here makes me also feel like, I feel I feel like you deserve this. <laughs> I never know, too. I feel like you deserve this because you're pretty good in what you're doing. I feel like you're good in what you're doing. And also because, you know, the appreciation here, people love what you're doing. So that that is really proof that you're good in what you're doing. People, you're, you're bringing this thing that you're doing. I think it's bring some kind of joy to other people, maybe. People are definitely appreciating this. So maybe somebody plays guitar or something. Hmm. The fifth house is also about romance, and that makes me feel like, yeah, like you're put you something, you're putting out something into the world that is nice for other people, you know, yeah, that is nice for other people, and uh, hmm, if you haven't started this yet, I feel like you're just gonna get like a breakthrough, you know, you're like, wow, I'm ready to write that book, or I'm ready to do this, or I'm ready to take on that project, or. You're just like, you're just like, damn, now I know how I'm supposed to follow it through. And then you just go into this creative mode for like a month or two or something. And then poof, you have like a, you you just do it. And I, I it's like, you're just, you're just in the right flow. You're going to be in the right flow. Wow. I think, whew, yeah, super. This is nice. <laughs> this is a nice energy. So let's look at your tarot cards as well. Let me just fix this a bit. Hmm. And you have Page of Swords. Yeah! Oh my God, I kept saying that. You know the dandelion here makes me think, could be like a childhood dream? Books! Maybe somebody had the childhood dream of writing a book, you know, or books. I said, that's what I said. I said like, yeah, you're gonna start with one book and it's gonna be like six, seven, eight books. Look, let's see. And I think that oh, I have, let's not count them. <laughs> so yeah. And Page of Sword is all about getting that idea, starting something new, starting something new. So yeah. Hmm. Page of Swords, Three of Cups. Let's do all the cards. Three of Cups. You have King of Swords. Wow. Look, she has a needle and thread here, <laughs> creating something. You have two of cups. Oh my God. Yeah. It's going to go your success. You're just going to reach success and three of pentacles. I mean, you go, look at this. You go from the idea here with the page of swords, that new beginning, getting that idea or getting clarity kind of in your mind to follow your dream through, to know exactly what kind of steps you should take to follow the dream through, you know, creating something. There's a lot of steps, you know, you know, there's a lot of things we need to use our mind, how we're going to put things together. You know, there's so like, uh, yeah, you know, maybe we have to learn things and often we have to learn a lot of things and kind of there's a lot of things coming together. So we have to be able to kind of use our mind in the right way. I feel here like you're really getting in that flow. Three of Cups here makes me think that, I don't know if you're getting help or hmm, some may could even be like collaboration or help, or you know what? It could even be that you're finding the right people. All of a sudden, you know, say you, you wrote your book, then you need to find kind of the, a good the publisher or distributor, or, you know, a, a good printer, or, so I, what I feel here is like, I just feel like you know, this is just such an easy project for you to do. It's like all of a sudden, you know, and it could be that you've been waiting for so long to get this through, to, 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 
to be yeah to to follow your dream through and now when you're finally doing it i just feel like it's gonna be the easiest i, I don't know why it feels like a very easy journey for you <laughs> and you're just you find the right people you find the right people to collaborate with it could even be that people want to kind of help you in some way with appreciation here. Maybe you're getting some help in some way or maybe somebody is kind of, what is it called? Like, uh, uh, what is it called? Like giving you, maybe, maybe not donations was not the word. I don't know. Maybe you're doing a Kickstarter campaign or something. Like fundings. Yeah, you're getting maybe some fundings or something. There's help. I feel like there's like, there's like no obstacles on your path. Yeah, there's no obstacles on your path. And King of Swords, like you start with the Page of Swords here. You start as the students. Oh my God, I have so much things to say. Yeah, I kind of jump from card to card. So you're going to be very eager. I feel like you're going to have like a lot of uh, creative energy, you know? So you're going to be like, oh, I have to do this and this and this and this. And you're going to just create your thing good. So anyways... You go from the student here with Page of Swords to the master with Trio of Pentacles. And I think this is a quick journey for you. And this is really like writing one book and everybody loves it. And then all of a sudden you're like, damn, I'm an author now. Like, And like your book is getting translated maybe into many languages uh, or something like that. So whatever you're creating, it's going to it's gonna give you a lot of success and you're gonna it's like the first you know you think maybe that that is kind of the end product but that's just the first that is kind of just the seed of what you have what is coming after that I just because I just see like kind of your first dream here it even looks like a little seed doesn't it <laughs> your first dream here you're creating that and that is just a little seed and I just see from that I actually see like a little yeah, like a little seed. And then I see like lines going from that. And I see like big, like big seeds, like big things. So it kind of like shows me, they show me like, yeah, it starts here with this thing. You think it's big, but no, 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 no. You're going to do this. It's going to lead to this. It's going to lead to that. It's going to lead to that. So you're going to be expanding a lot when it comes to this. This is going to give you something amazing. And I don't know why you just like it was just time yeah to just say it was just a divine timing to say for this because could be that you something is i don't know your mind is opening up maybe <laughs> just like your mind opened up or cleared out here with all the swords and the fox so hmm all of a sudden it's like you can really follow like these things true two of cups also shows you know two things coming together kind of get you getting what you want two of cups is also kind of about <laughs> could be like signing a contract or something three of cups you know you find your publisher you find the people you want to collaborate with you know you, you have somebody have to hire people to help us with this thing or that thing and it's always nice you know when we find people that really really uh i actually never work with anybody that i don't like connect spiritually with <laughs> i actually i can't actually doesn't work i have to get that good feeling of somebody so it feels like that is happening for you you're getting that good vibes with people so you're like yeah i want to like yeah i can hire you to take do this or you know and we can collaborate doing that and you can be my printer and you can be my no 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 you know what so yeah you're signing maybe contracts here with the two of cups and i think i wanted to say like this is the beginning of your new career actually yeah it's like yeah i'm writing one book but you you're ending up as an author you know a worldwide known author or something like that so <clears throat> what is happening yeah that's what happened that is what's happening that is what's happening and and it's like a dream coming true here like a dream coming true a creative dream coming true with no resistance from the universe at all. I mean, zero resistance from the universe. And maybe you're not used to it because maybe you're used to shit going wrong, I mean, in your life. But I think when it comes to this, I don't know why. It could be, you know, with the koi fish here. I think it's called koi fish in English. You know, it makes me feel like, kind of like it's spiritually protected, spiritually guided and protected in some way. And uh, yeah, spiritually connected and protected hmm, in some way. So this feels like this is kind of 
there, there is a divine meaning for you to do this, to share this with the world. So yeah. <laughs> so it could even be like things, other things are kind of like, um, I don't know. Hmm. I, they did, I just feel like it's, it, it's good for you to know. This is the one thing that is gonna really work out for you. This is one thing that I feel like can't go wrong. That's what I'm feeling. It just can't go wrong. So maybe some of you need to hear it. Maybe you're a bit worried how it's gonna go. And I mean, if you tapped into this reading and you completely understand what I'm saying, then wow, pile number two, don't worry. I mean, you. I think you should feel this flow of energy. Just go with it. Just swim with it here. Just go with it. I mean, do your thing here. I mean, you are definitely on the right path <laughs> and yeah and like i said it's like this is just the beginning this little thing here is just the beginning it's just gonna be it's just gonna go uh what is it called it's just gonna expand from here it's just gonna expand from here mm -hmm. hmm. okay pile number two this was your reading. If you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button. If you feel like sharing your story, please feel free to do so in the commentary section. Either way, part two, I wish you all the best and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye. Hello, part three, and welcome to your reading. You felt drawn to the bear here. We also have the earth element. So let's just put your tarot cards here. And we're going to start with some more oracle cards here. And you have the vision. Wow. Hmm. With owls. Look at that. It's a mountain here with an eye on top. Makes me feel like you had to climb a mountain to find something climb your mountain to find something hmm the vision have you been looking for something maybe yin and yang with balance okay relaxation <laughs> yeah you know what i feel here <laughs> it's like you i don't i okay so i i'm not gonna know what this is i feel because it's gonna differ of course you're gonna find what you were looking for that is what i'm feeling here and uh uh yeah because i, I really felt drawn to this mountain here with the eye is it an eye or is it a cave kind of i don't know maybe it's a no it should be an eye because it says vision here wow there's a lot of things happening in this card here you know uh and hands you know almost looks like praying or like i don't know yeah some kind of not really praying but yeah holding their holding hands together and there's it looks like there's a light there so kind of praying for something looking for something wanting something wisdom with the owls makes me think praying have you been praying for something now even this the yin and yang i don't know it feels like a prayer uh, thing amulet amulet no that's medallion prayer medallion maybe even if it's not i just know i just feels like you've been praying for something you have been praying for something and i think yin and yang balance and relaxation are you getting what you want because i feel like you have you 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 have finally found peace or you finally got it let's see here empathy so we have the 12th house, you know, the 12th house is kind of all about the, the, the it's kind of very spiritual house actually. So it's about the unconscious uh, and it is about hid hidden things and secrets. And we got the moon, yeah. So the moon in Pisces. So yeah, hmm. So you've been maybe, you've been praying for something. You've been the spiritual, yeah, you've been praying to God or who do you, whoever you believe in maybe just praying to source and i don't know god can be a bit triggering <laughs> word for some people so whatever you've been praying through whatever you believe in maybe you've been praying actually maybe you usually don't pray <laughs> because you but but you really wanted this so you're like yeah let's try to pray a bit also but anyways oh an empathy here you know look there's a bird coming with a uh, what is it called like a uh diamond earring here 
diamond earring. So you're hearing something. Hmm. What is finally happening? You're getting some good news. Yeah, you know what? You're finally getting some good news when it comes to something you have been praying about so much. And I feel like, I don't know what this is, but I feel like a very, very sweet energy, actually. So I feel like whatever you've been praying about has been something very, very dear to you. I feel like you've been very like emotionally invested in this. You've been longing and wanting this. And I feel like you're finally getting it. You know, it comes here. <laughs> with a di with a diamond earring here makes me feel like yeah you're getting it you're getting the diamond version <laughs> and i mean getting the diamond version of your thing that you've been praying for that is a good thing so maybe you're even getting an upgrade here in what you wanted and uh, you know this i think i don't know if this is kind of a sanct bernard i'm so sorry it's like i've translated the words like completely from swedish to english i have no idea sometimes if it's correct <laughs> so yeah i think this is the dog i think these kind of dogs sometimes you know i've seen it in a movie what is called that movie with that dog you know and he has like a thing hanging from his neck uh i don't know what it's in it i think it's water like a water bottle so when he he it is a movie so people born in the 80s maybe you remember this movie i think the dog looked like it this bit anyway so he he went out saving people saving people that were lost in the uh um, i don't know forest or kind of you know somewhere <laughs> so it so it really feels like you've been praying for something that was lost something that was lacking yeah if we pray for something there is something that is not in your life you wanted and maybe you want yeah you've been wanting this so I feel like you're getting good news. Whatever's, whatever was lost is now found. So maybe you lost it. Maybe you had it and then you lost it. Uh, whatever you've been praying for, I feel like it's finally, you're finally getting it. And with the yin and yang balance here and the relaxation, you're like, whoo, <laughs> okay. You can, and I think like you've been, it's like this one, it feels like this has been that one big thing that has been, like the one big thing that you really 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 was important for you so it feels like because you got it you're like whoo okay now i can rest for the rest of my life or something like that <laughs> so hmm yeah hmm the bear you know symbolizes healing a lot so it could be like it feels like you're by getting it back, I won't keep saying back, so maybe you lost something. Yeah, because of the dog went to find somebody that was lost. So maybe you're getting something back. For some of you, it can definitely be like a spiritual quest. You went looking for yourself. You were praying to find yourself. You were praying for, I don't know, enlightenment or awakening or spiritual connection or something. So it could definitely be like, that is not a thing. It could be something else. It could be something that you want for yourself. And, uh, but you're, whatever it is, whatever it is, you're getting it. And it's going to give you peace and, you know, relaxation. You're like, yeah, now I can just like live my life in peace and harmony here. You're, you're happy. You're content. You're going to be content getting this pile number three. <laughs> Let's say that. You're going to be very content. Yeah, it's finally happening. It's finally happening. Your prayers are finally being answered. That is what's happening. <laughs> Your prayers. And I just felt like some of you that hasn't been praying, you're definitely going to pray tonight. <laughs> you're like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I think I'm going to do it, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways uh let's look at your i just it's funny that i said it i think i'm gonna do it and i just remember the guides just remembered me uh like a prayer that i did just like a couple of weeks ago so that was a good confirmation for me that was kind of a big thing that i asked for so yeah interesting anyways tarot cards king of wands yeah i mean wow it's coming <laughs> your, your your dream is coming through definitely king of wands the hermit mm. hmm. let's do all the cards the hermit ten of cups wow completion oh yeah look at this maybe some of you longed for love 
But anyways, whatever it is, the tens are showing the completion of the journey. So it's been an emotional journey for you. And that's what I felt like. I feel a very sweet energy. Look at this pink here. So it's like a very sweet energy from you. It's like, this is something very, I think this can be a bit sensitive even for some of you to talk about maybe. And maybe you don't talk about this with any person because it's something very yeah sensitive and like very intimate to you what you want here very intimate here and the ten of cups here completion feels like you're fine the ten is the end you know you're getting what you want you did the whole journey you know <laughs> you did the whole journey and now you're a ten so the completion shows how you get that thing completed you king of wands and king of wands yeah okay wow that's interesting and you got five of pentacles but look at this so i just learned not long ago that in this deck there is a king the kings i think the kings maybe just the kings i don't remember anyways they have a female version and a male version so you got king of wands two times from the same deck but the female and the male version and you got yin and yang with balance here you know what some of you this is definitely a love story here for some of you not all of you of course i feel like two things here like yeah i'm gonna give you examples but remember it, it kind of like it doesn't have to be you know it's a general reading there's many people watching this reading so it has to be kind of open so it could be anything else but i see two scenarios here one thing is that you're getting connected here with yourself. So maybe you were seeking yourself with a vision here. King of Wands, King of Wands, the female and the masculine version, yin and yang, you know, yin and yang, female, masculine, becoming one, becoming balanced. For That could be for some of you. And for some other, yeah, definitely some kind of divine love story going on here. Twin flame, soul flame, divine. I kind of like calling it divine love. I think it's kind of better to call it divine love. So definitely divine love here. Where the, the masculine and the feminine ten of cups, there could be the completion of the divine love story here. You went through the purge. You went through all the things. It's the union here. It is the union. And the vision here really shows me it could be that you are the awake twin the, the wake the, the the one that is kind of no the one that really knew there's always like that <laughs> it's like very common you know especially in twin flame stories there's a runner and there's a chaser that's kind of the typical uh, what is it called the the yeah that's how it goes in the twin flame story let's not just let let's not go too deep into that but I, what, what's what's the beautiful thing here is that you're coming together now it's the end it's the union here either it's the union with yourself or the union with your divine love or the union with your dream whatever that was that you were praying for five of pentacles whatever that was that made you feel loss and sadness and loneliness you know so i think you've been experiencing a lot of loneliness it's the end of loneliness it's the end of lack it's the end of being left out in the cold it's the end of whatever you lost you are getting that back because it was always yours and it has always been yours it feels like yeah and it's been so look at this rose here you've been really protecting your feelings that you have with even when you were feeling, you know, even when you're feeling a lot of lack and a lot of sadness and, I don't know, loss and longing, it feels like, look at this, you really, really protected this. And that's what I said. I said for some of you, it's like very, like a very intimate, sensitive thing that you might not share with all people. Uh, yeah, but you've been really, really trying. You've been, it's like you couldn't let this go you I, I don't think you could ever let this dream go it is kind of you know it would be letting go of a part of yourself and <clears throat> so you're getting back <laughs> the dream is kind of like <sighs> the, I, the dream is the thing that's completing you does that make sense it's like a part of yourself almost it feels like a part of yourself it's very interesting here so uh, yeah it's like you're getting back a part of yourself and the hermit here also makes me think like kind of how you have one thing i'm feeling here is the connection between the dream and you so there's a connection you know what seeks you what you seek seeks you you know so there's definitely a connection that you have here 
And the other thing is also like kind of how you have been disconnected from this. You were praying for it because you didn't have it. That's why you've been praying, you know, and that's why you've been sad here because you didn't have it, but you had it, you had the, you were holding it here. Look at this, that rose is upside down here and you're holding the thorns, even if it was hurting you, even if it was hurting you to hold on to this, you couldn't let go of this because it is a part of you, I think. The vision here makes me think that you have a clear vision about why. Maybe you don't even understand it, but there is a higher, that kind of some kind of spiritual connection that you have with this thing, person, dream, vision here. So yeah, so... Whoo, wow. Yeah, you're getting the diamond version. Empathy, uh, savior, you're, you're being saved somehow. <laughs> so it's just a strange thing to say. You're being saved. Hmm. Hmm. And the wants, you know, it's the, oh, confidence and power. And the bear is also about power. Bear is, yeah, power. Hmm. 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 <laughs> Let's see if I can get something more. So I, I'm thinking about the, the drum here, you know? It's like the, I don't know, like the, you know, like, a, I think like in, in wars, like old time in wars, they had like a marching band, which is so strange, you know, before they went out into war, they like were, yeah, they they had a marching band with them. I think, I think I've seen this in movies. <laughs> so I think it's the end, like kind of, you know, hmm. It could be that you're expecting I don't know, maybe you're expecting things to not work out or things. It's kind of like, it feels like whatever you're expecting, that's not going to happen. <laughs> it, it, it feels like, it feels like you're stepping, this, this is like you're stepping into your power as well. And, hmm. You're, you're receiving this with a lot of confidence. That's what I'm feeling with the King of Wands and King of Wands here. Like you're receiving this with a lot of confidence. And uh, it's like, you I don't know, because you've been waiting maybe for, you've been waiting for this for so long. You know this is yours. And maybe you were on, I don't know what's going on with you, but it feels like you're finally, it is finally happening. You are finally ready to take this back. That is how it feels. You are finally ready to take this back or to make, to, to, I wouldn't even say that you're making the dream come true because it feels like it's just happening. Even if we have the, the wands, kings here, the king of wands here, because they are kind of, uh, you know, the king of wands actually symbolizes something that has already come kind of to its completion and they're kind of just overseeing it, you know? <laughs> you know, it's like the boss. You know, the boss just oversees it. So it's kind of like, it feels like it's, there's no, I don't see any struggle here. This, I kind of want to say, because with the yin and yang and balance and relaxation, it feels like there's no war. There's no struggle. There is just like a completion. There's just completion with the Ten of Cups here in the middle. It's like, you're, you're getting that back. You're getting that union. You're getting your dream. You're, you're getting that thing and that's it that's the end of the story <laughs> that's the end of the story and then it's another story starting but that's uh that's another reading <laughs> another story starting but that story is kind of yeah and then they live have ha yeah that's the ten of cups then they lived happy happy ever after card is the ten of cups so it's like the the long journey maybe that you did with longing and praying for this you know that maybe was a very long journey and had, having to go through like a lot of things like sadness and loss and pain you know pain of holding on to that wanting that longing for that like i said here holding the thorns uh, it feels like now when you get it 
all of those things are gone and the future is just bright. I mean, there's nothing, there's no no pain left, you know, when it comes to this. It's kind of like it's solved. <laughs> That's how it feels. Resolution solved. Union. Twin flame union. Living in uh, happiness. You know, there's, <laughs> I don't want to say living in happiness ever after, but yeah, maybe some kind of a bliss when it comes to this. Some kind of a bliss when it comes to this. Uh, because finally it, it became yours. Finally it becomes yours. So it, it's it's like, if, if this is a love story, it's the most beautiful love story. If this is something else, this is the most beautiful something else. <laughs> so yeah. Mm. Mm. And with the full moon here, didn't we see that? Look at that. The full moon shows the end, like I said. Look at your relaxation. You're like, yeah, it's full moon. You don't even have to worry. You're like reading your book, you know, laying there in your hammock. You know, you're just like, yeah, I'm done now. I'm done now. I, I'm done with the hard work. I'm done with the pain. The pain is over now. Now it's like I, I, I got what was mine. And now everything is fine. Everything is balanced. Everything is balanced again because it was unbalanced. You not having this in your life was un the unbalance. It was an imbalance, maybe. Unbalance, imbalance. <laughs> and that was why you couldn't let it go. Because you know this was somehow important to you. Somehow. And I, this is where I get the spiritual connection. When it's something like this strongly, it is. It, ha it has to have some kind of spiritual higher perspective to it. Otherwise, it would be some kind of only like desire, you know. And I don't feel that here. So that's why you can let that go, I think, because you knew this was meant for you. So yeah, getting this, you're balancing, everything it becomes fine. <laughs> everything just becomes fine. Mm -hmm. Wow, what a reading. <laughs> okay, Pile Tree, this was your reading. If you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel, hit, hit the like button. And if you feel like sharing your story in the commentary section, please feel free to do so. Either way, part three, I wish you all the best and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.